Hi, I'm Joanna and in a moment I will tell you how to play in a lucid dream board game. In lucid dream, the task of both players is to lead the dreamer's pawn to the awakening area. It's a bright spot in the center of the board. The second way to be a winner is put four pawns of sin on the board and close one circles of dream. However, you must know that the dreamer's pawn cannot move by himself. For this, players will be able to use pawns of dream. Each player receives four different pawns of dream. Each of them will cause different effects, affecting other pawns on the board, including the dreamer's pawn. Before we are asleep, or rather we start playing, let's prepare the game. Place the mat in the center of the table. Opposing players take pawns on the selected color and place them on the dedicated places on the starting point as indicated by the symbols. The dreamer's pawn places his place on the side of the board. Below each starting area, place the since pawns in position 1 to 4, respectively. Now time for cards. The deck called Memory must consist of 25 cards. There are three types of cards. Influences, Visions and Sins. To play a card, you must pay its cost at control points visible in the right upper corner. At the beginning of turn, each player receives four control points, which is marked with a control token on the control track. He can get more of them if on the slip board in the place where the house's symbol, Stin space, is located his pawn of Stin. If his dreamer's pawn is in a circle of dreams, third, second or first, the player gets one, two, and three control points, respectively. But now back to the cards. When you play Influences card, you have to pay for it. This type of card has an ability effect that must be used immediately. Then the card should be put on the discard pile of nothingness. Visions we play in area next to the board face up. But now you must remember that its effect will start until start of your next turn. This sins card, after paying a cost for it, you are placed at the bottom of the board under the sins pounds, starting with the first one. And now attention, because this is important information. A player can place sins card if his pawn of dream is on the sins space of the board. At this point, the sins pawn is placed on the board and the pawn of dream goes to its starting area. The player can now use the ability of sin card while waiting for his turn. Before you starting the game, you should know how to move pawns. As you can see, each dream's pawn starts of the fourth circle. This means it can make up to four moves. In lucid dream, pawns can move up and down and right and left. We cannot move diagonally. So, analogically, when your pawn is in the second circle, it can move to two areas. Now it's time to talk about the effects of each pawn. When the nightmare is on adjacent area, it pushed back a pawn by one space. Unless it's a sin pawn, it goes to another free sin space. For a change, a pawn called desire drag any pawn one space away from it. The malignant pawn has the ability to swap pawns in places. The Chaos Pawn creates chaos on the board. <laughs> when standing next to another pawn, it has the ability to return the pawn on the opposing player's starting area to any space on it. We starting every turn from the control phase. At the beginning of each turn, the player gains four control points or more 
if it meets the conditions. Players draw four cards from memory. A second is cards phase. Players play cards, pay for it by control points and use their abilities. After that, in an action phase, players move pawns and resolve their effects. When one player ends his turn, the opponent takes his turn in the same order. We play this way until one of the players meets the victory conditions. So, my dreamers, I wish you good dreams and a quick awakening.